What's up guys, welcome back to The Vegan View. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a holiday gift guide for 2020. Full of vegan goodies, snacks, treats, beauty products, kitchen things. I feel like these gifts would be good for anybody, whether they're vegan or not, so I really hope you guys find this helpful. And I'm so excited because I've really curated some of my favorite things, and I know the girls have done the same. We have categories like kitchen gadgets, we've got fashion, we've got vegan and cruelty-free beauty, we've got a food section, because of course we do, and then we also have a miscellaneous section. And I don't know what the girls' miscellaneous section is gonna be like, and so I'm very, very excited. I personally can't wait to see what they come up with. I hope you guys get lots of good ideas from this video and let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna start off with is the kitchen category. Um, I have two things. I'm gonna be showing you what I got for Christmas last year and has truly become the hero of the whole year. This, <laughs> it's been well loved. You can see it's a little little dirty but this is a loaf nest is basically a dutch oven to make a small loaf of no need bread and what i really love about it is that since there's just two of us eating bread it's a small loaf size instead of a giant boule that you would make in a conventional dutch oven it also comes with a silicone shaper it is fabulous the bread that we make in here is so good. It comes with a booklet of different kinds of bread you can make. You can start experimenting on your own. We've made breads with a brine topping. We've made ones with sesame seeds on top. Like it is so nice. And it's just like the perfect size for a fresh baked bread for only two because you eat it all before it gets stale. I love it, foolproof, and we use it all the time. It is one of our favorite activities to do together. And then I couldn't help myself since the loaf nest is kind of a bigger ticket item. I wanted to offer something that was a little more budget friendly and equally as useful for someone who really, really loves cooking in your life. This is a bench scraper. It's not just any bench scraper though. It has measurements all up and down it and through the back. And then on the very front, you could see it has measurements I love this because you can chop with it. You can see all the measurements if you're following a recipe. You can convert cups into ounces, tablespoons, teaspoons, and milliliters. You can cut dough with this. It's lovely. It's also stainless steel, so it's so easy to clean. And I use this every single day when I'm cooking dinner. I use it when I make pizza, when I make biscuits. I love this thing. It is one of my most used kitchen items by far. I love it. So for my kitchen category, I have this Dutch oven from Cook With Milo. Now this is literally a fraction of the price of some of the other Dutch ovens I've seen that look very similar and it is amazing quality. It is cast iron with a white enamel finish so it's very easy to clean. These are generally the kinds of things that you buy once and you have for decades and decades if not for a lifetime. They're really well made and they conduct heat really evenly as well so they're great for cooking. You can bake in them as well. My favorite thing to make in this is my pumpkin and potato and mushroom stew with the rosemary biscuits on top and what's so great is that you can make it all in one pot so I will build the sauce from the onions and the garlic all the way up and I'll put all the veggies and the broth and everything in there so it makes the stew and then I'll put the rosemary biscuits on top and I can pop the whole thing into the oven and let that get nice and golden brown and then I can serve this because it's so beautiful I can just take it right out of the oven and put it on the table so it's like stove oven table and it's just really convenient for that reason, but I also love the feel of that. I think whenever you're serving, whether it's your family dinner or if you're having a get together, which I know we're not entertaining as much this you know, this year, but in general when entertaining, I think there's a tendency to want everything to be so perfect and so pretty, and that can be beautiful and elegant, but it can also feel like no one wants to touch anything. And I love when you have a dinner party and you kind of just set a big pot of something hearty, like chili or dal or soup and everybody can kind of help themselves. I put it right in the middle of the table with a basket of bread, maybe some salad, make sure there's lots of wine and sparkling water on the table. And then people really feel cozy and at home. And I feel like that is when like magic happens when you're entertaining because everybody sort of feels like it's there's no pretense and everybody feels like there's an abundance of food and they can really eat and just get comfortable. And this is a way to do that and to give that feeling while still having something that is very elegant. My kitchen item recommendation is this tea kettle this is by a brand called smeg and if you're not familiar with them they have a lot of 
retro style appliances. They have like refrigerators, they have espresso machines, toasters, basically anything. But I think that the tea kettle is such a nice upgrade to any kitchen. And I also think it's something that people might not want to spend the money on for themselves, especially one that's as nice and beautiful as this one. So I feel like it's a really good gift. It just comes in handy so much. I love tea and especially since we've been home so much, I've been drinking so much tea. So I've been using this thing nonstop, but it's also great if you're running short on time, you don't want to wait for the water to boil on the stove and you want like quick boiled water for steamed veggies or for your pasta it's really good for that as well so i feel like this is a good gift i would love to receive this gift if i didn't already have one and it comes in a lot of fun colors too so if you know the person and you know what their kitchen theme is you can pick a fun color for them okay beauty i wanted something fun i don't know for christmas i want something that's kind of like a toy and to me these two palettes from colored rain are just so good this was my first colored rain palette it's the vivid pigments and shadows palette and the shadows are just like creamy and super pigmented. This is probably my favorite palette that I reach for. And you can see it just has a variety of fun colors. If you have someone in your life who loves makeup, it's so great. It's a black owned company and they're formulated for all skin colors in mind. So the colors show up so well. The formulation is amazing. It'll make you feel like a makeup artist no matter what your skill level is, which I really appreciate. And then I also have the, I love this just because they have incredible green colors and then their glitter shades are like butter to put on. I love sparkle, but I hate loose glitter. And this palette formulates this buttery, amazing shimmer that is just delightful to play with. So yeah, these are like my two toys. I love them so much. Can't go wrong with either of them. I think this is a little bit more useful of colors while this is a little bit more of an added bonus. There's lots of yellows and greens, but this has a really good color spectrum and selection. It's upside down. For beauty, I have an incredibly budget-friendly beauty item that is vegan and cruelty-free, of course. This is a $3 lip gloss that I got at Target. It is by the brand e.l.f. And it just says lip lacquer on the outside and it's in the color clear. It's not sticky, it's not drying on my lips, which my lips are really sensitive and this hasn't affected my lips. And also, it's just really comfortable to wear. A lot of times I forget that I have lip gloss on when I'm wearing this, but it is so shiny. For beauty, I always love Pacifica's holiday stuff. They always do a really good job of combining some of their top items to make a little package. And I think it's a great gift idea for somebody who loves beauty, whether that be skincare or makeup. They have both, so you will definitely find a gift for a lot of people there. And I think the gift sets are just so fun. It's such a great opportunity to try new products that you might not normally buy for yourself. And if you're trying to introduce people to vegan and cruelty-free products, that's a great brand. Everything there is vegan and they're cruelty-free. And you can find them at places like Ulta and Target. I also love that they have a wide range of gift sets. So if you're just looking for something small for someone, for like a gift exchange, or you wanna do like a stocking stuffer or something like that, they have really great small gift sets. But for a bigger gift, they also have bigger gift sets. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Pacifica. I talk about their products a lot on my channel. So I really think you can't go wrong. I think anybody would be happy to receive that as a gift. Okay, for fashion, this year I haven't been doing much fashion stuff. I am at home all the time. Probably one of the only things that I bought this year that I'm like, yeah, this is like legitimately made me feel cool and put together and fashionable are these sneakers from Be Flamboyant. They are a little dirty because I've already worn them quite a bit. They're just so cool. I feel like I look so cool when I wear them. One of my biggest problems is that I've been wearing like a lot of joggers because I'm at home all the time. And if I wanna like nip out those store, I feel like I don't have shoes that really go with that. And these just look so beautiful with any kind of outfit. And they're comfy and they protect my foot. I just, I love them. I feel so fashionable. They're a vegan brand. They're ethically made. They plant a tree every time you buy one. Um, they're great quality and they still look brand new even though I've been wearing them to death and I literally got them a month ago, so <laughs> love them. If you watch my YouTube channel or if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely would have seen what I have in the fashion category and that is literally my favorite sweatshirt. Such a comfortable sweatshirt on top of, I think, being very cute. I wore this almost every day in the month of October. 
that might be an exaggeration but barely i wore this a lot and i still wear it all the time even though it's not really halloween time anymore because it is so comfortable i got it on etsy and etsy used to be a site that really overwhelmed me i don't know if you guys can relate to that but people would say oh i got it on etsy or you should support small business and shop on etsy and then i would go on etsy and it was a little overwhelming it was kind of hard to find what i was looking for stuff i liked so what i started doing was just using my friends recommendations or influencer links and i found some really cool shops one of them being pink sunday studios and they make a lot of these kinds of like pop culture types of t-shirts crop tops sweatshirts i think they even have like phone cases and stuff but the only thing i've ever gotten from them so far is sweatshirts i get lots of compliments from fellow hocus pocus fans they all want to know where i got it so i will definitely link it below and if you want to support small business i highly recommend checking out pink sunday studios because at least so far from what i know of them with their sweatshirts anyhow they're comfortable they're cute i've watched this a couple times nothing happened to the design or anything so highly recommend all right, for fashion, I'm gonna do two. I know we only said one, but I have two and I can't decide which one to share with you guys. Um, so first is my dainty gold jewelry is from a small business. It's an Etsy shop called Everin, and I am just absolutely in love with their pieces. They're so nice and delicate, but they're also really high quality. So these are gold filled, so I'm able to wear them all the time. I wear them when I work out, I wear them when I shower, they still look as good as the day that I bought them. And I think it's just so nice to have some real gold pieces so that I don't have to worry about taking them off because that can be very cumbersome. So I really love their jewelry. I recommend them to everybody. And I feel like if you know somebody who likes to wear jewelry, it's a no brainer because all of their stuff is really dainty and delicate that even the most picky person would appreciate something from them. Next item, this is a like travel bag, like a little weekender bag. This is from a brand called Dagny Dover. Mine's a little dirty because it is loved. Um, I need to wash it, but not everything from this brand is vegan, but they do have some vegan products. So definitely check out the website, check the materials and just double check. But this particular bag is vegan and it's made from a really nice scuba, like a thick scuba material. I feel like road trips are happening more these days um, when you know people are getting cabin fever and they need to get out instead of flying to go somewhere they're taking a road trip to be safe and so I feel like this is a really great gift for somebody um, because it's just like the perfect size for just a little weekend getaway and when we are able to travel more freely again it is a great carry-on for the plane it's very comfortable to carry you have the two straps right here and then you also have a longer strap right here that you can take off if you don't want to use it. The inside has so much space and it has some really great pockets for organization. So there's two open pockets on the side that I feel like are a really great size for, you know, an extra pair of shoes, a water bottle, something like that. Then there's a laptop compartment as well. It's not padded, um, it's just the scuba materials. So I still put my laptop in a case, but it's nice to have that. Then it has this little thing that's on a bungee so that you can put important things in there that you need to access quickly. And then it has a little zipper pocket as well. Um, one of my favorite features is on the back, there's a little pocket right here, which you could put your phone, you could put your wallet, um, basically, I, put, I usually use it for my phone, but basically anything that you need to access quickly. They also have handbags in this same kind of style, um, so if you are looking for something smaller, they have that as well. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Food. We have bought so much of this. It's kind of all ripped up because we've devoured it, but this is a top knot that's made with Calabrian chilies and eggplant capers. It also has aromatic herbs and salt. And if you watch this channel, you know we are caper lovers and this is basically spreadable capers. It is like salty and creamy and buttery and just a, like a hint of spice. It is so good. I almost don't want to tell you guys about it because I want to buy the whole stock and have it for myself. But I will be gifting some of this to my foodie friends in my life. It's so good. Order it early because it's imported. I love it so much. You can put it on a bowl, on a sandwich, in pasta. 
tofu scramble, get out of here. For food, I have my beloved Tony Chocoloni's chocolate bar. I talk about this all the time because it is worthy of talking about all the time. It is the best vegan chocolate bar I've ever had. This one in particular is the one that I like. Be careful because not all Tony Chocoloni's chocolates are vegan, but this one is and it's perfect because it's salted. And that's why I like this flavor the best because it really brings out the sweetness in the chocolate and kind of balances it out and makes it extra creamy and delicious. If you don't like dark chocolate, I really think you would like this one because because dark chocolate when it's really high like a really high percentage it can be very like kind of dry and kind of powdery a little bit bitter and that's definitely an acquired taste but this one has a lower percentage so it's really rich and creamy and that salt kind of brings out all the flavor and it is so good but my favorite thing about Tony Chocolonis is the thickness of it it is literally like a chocolate brick and there is something that is so satisfying about just biting into that much chocolate like you're literally sinking your teeth into chocolate get it as a stocking stuffer get it for a vegan or non-vegan in your life get it for yourself it's the holidays it's 2020 you need this it's so good <laughs> All right, for food, I think the best gift you could give somebody would be a Purple Carrot subscription. We love Purple Carrot over here. We've been fortunate enough to work with them in the past on a few videos, and I actually just genuinely love them so much and have been using them for years. And I found that this year it has come in such handy because I'm sure you all can relate that being home and cooking all three meals from scratch and having to come up with what you're gonna eat and recipes and things like that can be so stressful. So just being able to, you know, whip up a purple carrot meal and kind of turn your brain off and just like zone out for a second. Everything's pre-portioned for you. You don't have to worry about wasting food. It is just such a treat and it's as good as restaurant food, but in your own home. So I really don't feel like, you know, I feel like we still kind of get like a little bit of a restaurant experience when we eat purple carrot as opposed to, if I were to try to make something myself. So I feel like that would be a really great gift to give somebody and you could give it to them for as long as you want. So I feel like there's a lot of options there depending on your budget for the person. But I think that it's a great gift, especially for a vegan and even for a non-vegan, I guarantee you they will like the meals. The meals are so, so good. So I would highly recommend that. I'm pretty sure we still have an active code. Um, that will get you a discount. So we'll put that in the description box down below, but yeah, definitely. Okay, last for my miscellaneous item, I got asked about these earrings. So these are my threader earrings. It's hard to focus on them, but they're the earrings I'm most frequently asked about. They're the ones that, here I'll have a picture. They thread through my two lobe piercings. They're not for new piercings, they're definitely for older ones. Um, if you've never worn threaders before, what you're supposed to do is either lubricate it with like a little neosporin or some water, thread them through, and you can sleep on them. They're so comfortable. I wake up, I have those earrings in, I feel really put together. You can shower in them, and I'll link below the Etsy shop. But really quickly, I wanna talk about my sun sprout. I just wanted to say I know a lot of people get puppies for Christmas and a lot of them end up in shelters afterwards so i urge you yeah it's sad so i urge you if you do want to get a puppy for your family or any kind of companion animal please adopt it is the most rewarding experience Ooh. yeah you want to go back and take a nap miss hannah Hagler. oh my gosh mrs hannah hannah has a bunch of videos about adopting, about fostering, everything you need to know. Please check out all that information before you consider getting a companion animal. But it is a big commitment. You are adding another family member to your crew, so please do not treat these lives like gifts. For my miscellaneous, I have some books. I have a fiction and a nonfiction, and these are the kind of books that I just, they've stuck with me. I think about them all the time. This one I'm actually not quite finished with. I have maybe 20 pages left. This year I've really been making an effort to read more books by more black authors and so have a lot of my friends so we've been rotating a lot of the books that we've been loving and this one is actually my friend Laura's I can't stop thinking about it it is such an interesting read it is a story of two twins I don't know if you can tell from the cover art two twins and it's about race it's about identity it's about parenthood and family and it's really really about identity I think every single character kind of grapples with identity throughout the book and it is so interesting it takes place in different 
uh, time zones, different periods, different cities, and all the different characters bring so much to the book and there's so much like bubbling beneath the surface and her writing is so beautiful and it actually changes quite a bit so when I was first reading it I thought it was one kind of book and then when it changes to a different time period in a different city it ended up having a totally different tone so it's amazing I highly recommend it it's made me think a lot and it's just it's a good story so far I'm just so I'm like I'm at the end and I'm just like what is gonna happen I need to know so love this and then this one I read not this year but the year before and I go back to it all the time to check things because it is absolutely fascinating now I am one of those weird people who hates sleeping I think it's a waste of time I wish we didn't have to do it but for health it is so so important more important than even like we all know that but when you read this book you will be like oh my god I need to prioritize my sleep because it is so important it talks about why we need to sleep what happens to our bodies when we sleep and what happens when we don't sleep it also talks a lot about things like why teenagers need to stay up later and how that is actually an like a very important part of their development and it is the reason why a lot of the times even when I don't don't want to go to sleep and I feel like there are a million things I would rather do literally anything I would rather scrub the kitchen floor than go to sleep most nights but I think about this book and I think about that what is it adenosine that builds up in your cells if you don't sleep and then it cause it can cause dementia and Alzheimer's later on in life I think about that but this is a great book and something I think everybody should read information I think everybody should have but also just like a really fascinating non-fiction book so highly highly recommend and last but not least, I think that a very good gift to give somebody would be a vegan view mug. <laughs> so we have been working to restock this for so long. We finally have it restocked. So if you do know somebody who would like a mug, definitely check it out. We'll have that linked in the description box down below. And whenever I gift mugs to people, I think it's super cute to put your favorite teas in the mug so that they get to try them. So I always go through my tea drawer and pick out some teas and put them in the mug so that people can have some tea as well. So I'm really excited that we're able to share that with you guys that we are restocked. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please let us know down in the comments below, is there anything on your gift list that you are hoping to receive this year or maybe getting for your friends and family? If you're not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and check out our individual channels. They are linked down below. That's also where you'll find links to all the items that we mentioned in this video. And we also have a Facebook group that is a great place to go for questions, concerns, comments. Um, anything honestly or if you just need a place to vent so definitely check that out and we will see you guys next week in another episode bye bye bye, bye.